Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. 2004 Nissan Armada front brakes here, four-wheel drive. We got uh, six 21 millimeter lug nuts. You want to break them loose while your vehicle's on the ground? Ready to turn them loose? A turn or so, and then you jack up the vehicle and use safety stands, which you need to protect yourself. You take the the rest of the lug nuts off, less of the rest of the way, and then you'll see this here. We got our caliper mounting bracket, brake rotor, brake pad. So uh, 14 millimeter bolts here, one here and one here. You take those out, everything is left to loosen, right to tighten. I just stick my screwdriver in here and pry between the brake pad and the rotor if I can and uh, collapse the piston a little bit. Just get in there with a screwdriver and do this. Should be able to collapse a little bit. Then you can take this off. Set it off to the side. Check to make sure your slides are free and moving. You can see that they are. We'll still throw some lubricant on there. And then we have a 21 millimeter bolt here, 21 millimeter bolt here. Those are the same size as your lug nut size is 21 millimeters. So we're getting left to loosen. Take these off and your caliper bracket will come off. Then you can clean these up or replace them. It's kind of up to you. And then uh, it'll be taken apart simple as that so we'll be taking this off and this off and it'll come off the rotor should uh, slide off see it's free if it doesn't you can usually tap it on the back side a few times and uh, pop it loose maybe use some spray penetrant if you need to and it should come off it's supposed to be just a slide on slide off rotor I do want to collapse the uh, pistons back I like to use the old brake pad and then I have a channel lock so you can use a C clamp collapse it down. I kind of like to use a C-clamp because I feel that the piston should go in easy enough that if you use a C-clamp it should uh, just go in by squeezing it with your uh, large channel locks. It should be that easy I, I believe. So be like that and then when the pistons are basically flush with the caliper then they're pushed in all the way.
caliper pistons need to be collapsed enough to get over these little humps. So we'll just torque those down and put on the wheel and uh, tighten that down and then we'll check the brake fluid level. Want to get in the vehicle when you're done with both sides, go ahead and step on the brakes a few times to set the brake pads. And top off fluid as needed at the master cylinder. Here's a brake fluid container on the driver's side. You got a minimum and maximum line here so go ahead and uh, fill it up to the max you can use a clean rag or a, a maybe turkey baster or something suck some fluid out when you collapse the pistons fluid comes up this way so you wanna you don't want fluid spilling all over you use a tur turkey baster or something to suck some of the fluid out or a clean rag to absorb it as it comes up whatever but just put it back to the max level step on the brakes a few times double check your level here and then go for a test drive good luck on your 2004 nissan armada and other vehicles just like this